It's 935 K-Day. Oh, we're only a few days away from the 10-year anniversary of Crush Groove. And you know, it can't happen without DJ Crush Quick in the high seat. Crush Man. Body moving. Say what, say what, say what? Crush Grooving. Hey. Body moving. Body moving. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I want what's in your left front pocket, I believe. So pull, pull that out throughout <laughs> the interview. Let, they need to see this. He just got off the road. That's This how he get paid. Man. Throw it on out there, dog. That's it. That's how he get paid. That's how he get paid, man. Hey, y'all see what it is? It yeah. is what it is. Dog, so you just left the Midwest, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, We're still in the Midwest. we there every weekend. Really? We got the coolest promoters in the game right now, man. These two brothers, is they, they killing it, man. We out there with Bun B, Short, yeah. Juvie, you know, uh, um, A-Ball, MJG. So it's just fun. It's like... It's no fair. That is crazy. But now, when we talk about Crush Group, is there like a, a certain year that stood out the most of you cats? Because first of all, I love introducing y'all. And you yeah. know why. And I always stay on the side yeah. of the stage when y'all alone because there's always a yeah. bottle out there yeah. that y'all sharing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we do we do libations on stage. Yes. And y'all got to see the way I weaponize a bottle of Moet and Shonda. Come on now. Shh. <laughs> we just like party. It's like we want that, that house party experience with us. You know how we get down. Always is, man. Always is. I'm so you said... Every year is always special to y'all, yeah. man. Yeah. I, I got one, though. I got a little feedback from the one. I think it was in 2017 uh-huh. where I brought the band out. Okay. When you gave me that award. Was that 16 or 17? I think it was 16, 17. 16. I can't remember. Damn. A lot of weed. But yeah. anyway, <laughs> that one was, it was. I, maybe I shouldn't have brought the band. So this girl went off on me like, you know, I'm like, hey, hey, you know, I thought she was just finna give me some fan love. She berated yeah. me. She was went off. You shouldn't have did no band. You up there trying to play music. I'm like. Bitch, shut up. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, maybe I should have did a band. So you notice after that, now we just go solid, solid state with the yeah. uh, 360 systems. And, and keep it straight, man. Yes, I, I seen your son. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What beach was that? Redondo Beach. I did an event out there not too long ago with, like, yeah. with Candyman and all that. Dope. He was out there. But he had to roll out early because y'all was hopping on a flight. You know what I'm saying? See so how, always good, how you show love, though? Yeah. Dave pull up. He came out, pulled up, rolled out, yeah. represented, did his thing, man. Baby he pulled Dave, up. Hey, he on, man. He was going to come this morning. He was going to come this morning, but I told man. him, man, just go do your thing because he, he yeah. finna go clock in and get his bread. Yeah. But he would have he liked to have been up here, too. But it's like, you've been working too hard. Like, he's he's doing more on the tour than me and this nigga. Man. Yeah. So Making it happen. Yeah. yeah. But you really? said if you had one of his knees, huh? His knees, man. That would be jumping out the gym. stage like he No, he hoops. So. To see it in his rap performance is, is amazing. Are y'all still balling though? Y'all pick up the ball I every now and then. Play ball in so long. Heck no. All right, man. Well, I, I'm, I know. I'm, hey, Barack Obama could beat me balling. Like I'm, I'm rusty right now. I don't do nothing. <laughs> Just tag me. I got that. Trust yeah. me. I'm still. Yeah, we see you. Still we I'm see still you. doing it, man. Yeah, got you out there. He got man still one. I got a six year old. I gotta be running around with his ass. He man still get in one. Where you man at? Yeah, man. So we definitely gotta do that. Can still ball. Well, I'm gonna flip it up a little bit, man. Where were you cats at when you heard about what happened, Nipsey Hustle? I was at home, bro. Okay. Carl? We just got off the plane. We just, it no, was we had just, Sunday. yeah, we had just returned from Minneapolis, uh, Min- Milwaukee? Milwaukee, I think. Okay. Just returned from Milwaukee. And uh, it was just something funny in the air, right? Yeah. It's like something else had just happened. No, that was South. Uh, we was in South Carolina when the old boy did the little crazy stuff. Oh, yeah. That's what it just happened. Sunday. We was in South Carolina, uh-huh. Columbus. Okay. And uh, some dude, man, he kidnapped this girl. She thought it was her Uber. Yeah. And he wasn't. It was yeah. We, that we read was about so that. cold right. blooded. Yeah, that had happened while we was there. Like we had just left, and that happened. So uh-huh. we got home and was tripping off of that. And my son came in the room. and He was like, "Daddy, somebody just shot Nipsey Hussle." And I'm like, "Not Nipsey." Yeah. Like, no. Nah. Like, is he okay? He's like, "Daddy, yeah. it don't look good." I'm like, "Man, you better not tell me this." And yeah. then infrared, you know, this nigga know everything. Red called me and just gave me the whole inside scoop. What was going on? Like he knew. What had happened, he knew the name, the dude shitty. The whole, he said that a, year, a day before I saw it on TV. Wow. You know, and it was like, I got a nephew who, who's inside, on the inside too, and he was like, yeah, he's non-responsive. So mm-hmm. I just had to accept it. So yeah. I sat there on my bed, and that, me just getting that news turned into me sitting on that bed like 14 hours later, 16 hours later, like, what the fuck? I couldn't get out of bed. Yeah. That hurt. Yeah, yeah man. It hurt a lot of us, man. It did, bro. He you know. hurt the whole city, bro. Yeah. yeah. The whole and- country. And we in Milwaukee, yeah. they're doing tributes to, they're doing vigils for him while we out there. Man. Two, man. The impact. So we've all lived through the Tupac situation and the Nipsey Hustle situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we got to understand how hard that situation is for all of us. You know what I mean? Yeah. But this was a, this is more like the Malcolm X situation. Like, it was more, he was more politically involved. It's like Martin Luther King. I don't, I don't even put him in the Biggie and Pac. Yeah. I'm just being real. And no, I'm an MC, you know that. what I'm saying? Yeah. DJ. So, 
you know, I'm in real life, his was a little bit more, he was, he was a little more important. I hate to say that, but okay. he, he was more important because he was real current and he was always in this hood, in this community doing things. So definitely giving back. And uh, I seen a video this morning. You were in the studio with him, I guess, on the check me out session. Yep. And, and like, how's it feel? He said you one of the main reasons he wanted to get into the That's, game quick. It, I'm speechless. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, how could I put that into words? You know what I mean? That's yeah. that's an honor. You know, I remember, you know, when we sat down and had I had dinner with him at Michelli's. My man Steve LaBelle introduced me to him. He brought him up. And uh, when he sat down, I was like, this is the kid? He was like, yep. I'm like, oh, yeah, he got it already. <laughs> 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 nigga look like Stu. This nigga tall and fly. Yeah, that's it. He, he won. I didn't even know. I ain't never heard his music. I'm like, yeah, this guy's a star. Before you even hear anything, you, I heard you anything. can tell. I, you, yeah. you know a star when you see him. It's like, yeah, oh, this man. dude, this dude, he's going to kill it. Wow, man. Well, we definitely going to make sure the marathon continues with that. The marathon sure. continues. Now, not too long ago, I had Sugar Free in the studio talking about his new uh, album, <laughs> Resurrection. Yeah, yeah. Uh, first of all, some of the dopest 49 minutes I've ever had. This dude. Like, really? Yo. Don't you? Hey, he coming with it. He's producing himself. That's what I like. Oh. He learned. He learned. Y'all taught him how to produce himself. Yeah. And other engineers, too. That's what's up. Hey, you can let him in. That's what's up, man. Now, you worked on some of his music, right. obviously. Mm -hmm. So, I want to ask, what's probably some of the... Project, a project you worked on where you were just like, man, overjoyed, like this is my shit. And then which ones have been the most challenging to you? Uh, I don't think any of them, none of them challenging because okay. if you if you smoke some weed, you can make the best music with anybody. That's everybody on one the page, key. just smoke and relax and enjoy whatever the fuck happens. Okay. That's how music is supposed to work. It's fun. It ain't like work. Right. It's true. like true. dentistry. The fuck are we talking about here? We're talking about music. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's, it shouldn't be that intense, No, right? man. My, one of my favorites was being in the studio with Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston when Bobby was a, was high. Yeah. That was funny as shit. <laughs> Rick James, you know, Tony, Tony, Tony. That, that's not like work at all. That's, yeah. that's like you get to watch the dude who wrote you know, it feels good and anniversary. Yeah. And you, know and you what already mean? know what you get when you Just go to his studio. You, it's, it's swagged out. It's he, super uh, swagged. Uh, what, the hookah, he had a hookah spot. So, and what number we did? And, and my point, exactly. That's how Sadiq gets down, man. And my point, exactly. So, yeah. you know, them, uh, even even some of the some of the younger, are like being in the studio with records y'all haven't heard that didn't come out or we didn't do, but Wiz Khalifa and Mariah Carey and, uh, you know, what's um, my man? From the diplomats, Jim Jim Jones, okay. like being in the studio with these dudes and Young Jock, you know what I mean, in, in the game, being in the studio with these guys Ooh. and Jay Z and Beyonce, I'm hard. That's that's I'm just <laughs> fucking hard. I'm, I'm you, fucking amazing. Do you sit back? I'm the man. The names you, you just fucking dropped. Do you yeah. understand? I don't even like name dropping. I, I'm sit, <laughs> nigga, I was sitting here looking at you like, damn, Sugar I didn't Free, know that. Mossberg, you know. Um, Come on, dog. Like. Who would Rage be on Against your list? the Machine. I don't know. I work. Dr. Dre, Snoop. Oh, you've, Easy you've touched e. them all. Easy E. Easy E. Did I do I forget to say we work with yeah. Easy? Closely. Yeah, I'm sorry. Penthouse Pro. I see y'all 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 seen a lot, man. A lot, man. Y'all seen a lot. We've like, been kicking around this idea. We call, we about to call it, I think. We're gonna do a blog finally. Combo. I'm gonna do my blog and call it confidential, confidential combo. combo. And it's just what we've seen and witnessed. The stories we want the, the world to know. The stories we want the world to know with Dude. all the names involved. We're going to get super slander. Y'all to a podcast. Motherfucker will tune in every week. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It's going to be amazing. This week, we're going to talk about studio sessions with Easy e yeah. Man, who, come who on. Who does not want to hear and that? We're going to bring it. Like, I, we, if they want to come I in, we want to bring them in and tell it. And, you know, yeah. we had to change the name. Yep. Froggy yeah. Frog. They're going to know who we're talking about. <laughs> mm -hmm. Man. Stories we have with, look, I'm still name dropping. Second and None, AMG. You know what yeah. I mean? We like, just left uh, Indiana this weekend, and the story we had with that, we was there when Tupac was with Digital. Me and Pac was running around backstage. Pac he was, was just a dancer. Like, we were shining on him. Like, yeah, yeah. nigga, you just Mike a Tyson. dancer. <laughs> Mike we Tyson. hanging out with Mike Tyson. Yeah. We up there kicking with Tyson and BNGB and Hammer, and we Johnny just living. Yo, yeah. Johnny That's when he Gill. got in trouble, though, Rome, that night. Really? He got in trouble, remember? In uh, Indiana. That was oh, the night. We was, was at Nap Town. We was at the night. Indiana Black Expo. All together, bro. That's the night Mike Indiana Tyson finished the convo. Change. Yeah. Indiana Black. He was, <laughs> that night. he was Mike Tyson from the video game then, too. Punch out. <laughs> yeah. With the haircut. Yeah. He was that Mike. <laughs> He's still a great Mike, though. Right now, I'm going right. to do a podcast with him, too. I've been on his show. He's okay. going to go on my show, too. Really but um, man. he was, man, to, see, to get up in the morning, get on the plane, and Yo-Yo gets on the plane and throws a newspaper in my lap. And it's Mike Tyson on the front page. Hey. And you're like, I'm just with him. What the last hell? Last night. Hey, Ron, the funny shit Christmas? was quick. We came up, we walked up, right? Quick had the CD. He was like, hey, man, I'm DJ Quick, man. 
Hey, man, I know who you are, man. <laughs> you go heavy here. Look at Grammy. You know, we were small. I'm funny. Hey, you know who you are with a little voice. We out, Tyson. I'm listening Mama. to y'all shit. Wow. <laughs> but That's the only guy the I'm ring. scared of. Yeah, but in the ring, he's a whole different beast. Oh, but y'all, man. like, outside My point, ring, you never know when cool, the bell yeah. might ring. Ding, ding. And this nigga hits you with a half of one of them shots. He might hear All right, no, I shit on myself. bell and slap the shit out. He said he would shit on his Oh, man, dude, yeah. I'm still tripping off the names. You could do a book just on names, dog. Brother. Like, y'all done a lot, man. Y'all been doing this together combo. for how long? 30? Yeah, about 30. About a 30 banger. And still enjoying it. Throwing up money and shit all in one studio. 80, 87 when we start doing oh, it. yeah, like, yeah. This, I mean, That's 32 it. years. Yeah. We trying to be nice. Yeah, that's a long ass time. Damn. But yeah. I just turned 30. Uh, five. Yeah, how you do that? <laughs> Benjamin Button probably just turned 39 y'all send him something I for us I was on tour when I was 7 come on <laughs> exactly <laughs> Rob Rob Duh. what's up baby man everything is lovely man I'm so glad y'all came up in the spot I'm ready for this weekend Cross you we're gonna be amazing yeah man uh, any surprises um yeah this is the surprise I want everybody to know that when my part of the show comes on I'm gonna yeah. try to put it on my Instagram when I'm gonna hit the stage okay so people know to change their shoes okay. into something more comfortable. Because it's about there. to get, you about to dance your ass off. Already, already <laughs> I'm lining know. up the dance moves. It's over. And, and is it true sometimes y'all go right from a show right back to the studio? Yeah. yeah. You get off the plane, yeah. get in the car, go to the studio and finish working. What triggers that? Um, Leaving the city motivated by that? A, a sound in your head? Yeah, well, you know, being a musician, yeah. yes, all, you're always inspired by the sounds. You know, things you hear, like I hear... News bites that be dope, like nigga, that that's hot. Even though the news suck, yeah, that little part right there. You know what I mean? Speaking of that, how'd you feel about what was her name, Laura Ingraham? What she said about a uh, Nipsey Hussle and uh, he did the song "F Donald oh, Trump" F and Donald. his oh, you I I chimed in on that. I saw okay. that on uh, L.A. Confidential on Game's feed. Yeah, and I said I told him I said Game, don't pay that bitch no mind. She ignorant. Mm. You know how they talk about black people? Yeah, that's an ignorant white woman. Exactly. It is what it is. That is what it is. Spade is a spade. And an ignorant white woman is an ignorant white woman. But the fact they want to take advantage of that situation just to try and just throw a jab, so disrespectful, you know what I mean? And laughing and being silly up there with it. But the good thing is you'll have that, and then you have a Christine Devine from Fox 11. That's my sister. Who's the shit. That's my sister. Right. Tucson lady. That's my sister. We've been knowing her since Tucson. Yeah, well, that's right, because she started in Tucson. She's been right. here over 20 years. Yep, she married She'll to my home. She'll be chilling in too. the cut and don't say nothing. Just nope. chill, hang she, out. And guess who I, Who gets her into Crush Groove? Who? Nigga, me. <laughs> <laughs> she called me. She's like, quick, it's Christina. I'm outside. I'm, I'm, I go get her myself. Wow. Go out there, go, go back up the tunnel, go through the metal detector. Like, yep. Christina, come on. She come back in. Cool. And it's yeah. a wrap. So I guess she'll be there this weekend, too, then. I hope so. Okay. She already know. Call me. 818 818- Oh, what's she? <laughs> no, go ahead, give it out. No, I see one, eight, nine, three, <laughs> zero. You gotta Five. figure out the last four. So every weekend, it seems like y'all hitting the road. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. yeah, every weekend we go. Yeah. Did you ever thought this many years later it no. would be, be no. like even more consistent than this? No. What 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 changed that? This is what changed it. It was volatile to do tours in the nineties okay. because we were new. Mm-hmm. And we was from the red side. So we mm-hmm. caught hell. There was a shootout at every concert I did. Gotcha. Just because of my affiliation or so-called. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, the money we made on the road back then was money we had to give the lawyers to defend us for cases we was catching <laughs> in the goddamn city. Got you. Yeah. So you would come back home, not in the Come green back at home. And I, no, you come back home and have your little money left over and go buy your motorcycle. But you could have went and got a Rolls Royce. But you had to give the lawyer 81 grand to go back and defend somebody throwing a bottle in your audience. So yeah. it is what it is. Damn. So I was like, on my second album, Way Too Funky, I was like, you know what? I don't think I'm going on the road this time. I stayed in the studio and produced everybody. Hmm. That's why I, I didn't promote Way Too Funky or Safe and Sound. I wasn't on the road. Yeah, because I was tired of getting shot at. I was tired of being in the newspaper. Tired. I was like, you know what? It's just easier to stay in the studio. Yeah, it's safe. Yeah, that's true though. I play with that's my true. guns in here. There you go. <laughs> you know and then in the studio, you're gonna make money because you're gonna make the hit. Goddamn yeah, so. right. It's safe. And you know? now it's you. It seems like you guys are excited about going out here in the road though. Like it's a different thing. Yeah, no, it's yeah. amazing, bro. It's like, yeah. um, you get to entertain people with music that you made to entertain people. Mm-hmm. And still <clears throat> like it. I mean, it's part of this thing is about liking it. It's the entertainment business. 
Yeah. It's just show business. You get paid to show your business. True. So that's it. Like, you keep that in mind. Keep it all in perspective. Just know that people want to be entertained. They don't want to see you up there posing and forgetting lyrics and being strange. They want you to do the damn song, they nigga. Want, they want, yeah. Do the, play the song. They want what they know. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. I got to ask you something before you roll out. So much you have to see. Uh, mm-hmm. If you had to pick a favorite album of the 90s, what would your favorite <sighs> hip-hop album of the oh, 90s man. be? Hip hop of the nineties. Yep. Damn, but you, it's you know the nineties was long. It yeah, was, that thing it was, was eighty nine to ninety six. <clears throat> yeah. It's everything in there. Everything. Vicious. Ooh, it's, it's the chronic. It's safe and sound. It's Every, Ice Cube. Death short, everybody come through. They be like, it's, yeah, it's Shorty it. the Pimp. Yep. Yeah. It's your shit. It's your albums. It's my yeah. albums. Free. God. Man, that's damn. Good. I know. <laughs> oh no. Oh, just one if of the nineties. One album out of the nineties that you like, yo, this that one that had me back in the studio, had me motivated, made me money, whatever. This nigga gonna pick Wu Chang Clan. Uh, <laughs> I know him. That, hey, the Thirty Six yeah, Chambers. That, oh man, he gonna pick the Thirty Six Chambers. If I man. gave you three to make you feel better, <laughs> yeah, Wu Tang in there. Who else? Yeah, I gotta pick Wu Tang. I, I'm no, and it's gonna sound biased, but I gotta pick the homie because we had so much fun making that. Th- those are facts. So I, I can, and I'm on that. So if I want to listen to myself, I can scroll down a couple. You can tracks do that. Man. Oh, shit. Okay. And then the last oh. one, God damn, they had like Jodeci and Jodeci. Now we talking about just hip hop. We talking about black because it's all culture. Jodeci and hip hop are the same thing, though. Pretty much. Come and talk to me. Flip that. Come on, man. Yeah. So your third one. That's when the roll was cracking. Your third one. Yeah. 1993. Man. Every nigga in the. Okay, yeah, I got uh, it. I, I, I got mine. I don't know. I got man. mine. Okay. I got mine. Yeah. Wow. What about Slim Shady when he just fought? Yeah, that everybody. count, huh? Can you yeah. do it like in the halves? Because it all changed after Biggie and Pac died. It made everything like everybody went supernova after that. Like, you know, fucking uh, Eminem going platinum in one day. You know, that's yeah. scary. You know, up until then, it was Snoop Dogg with Doggy Style, which is in my top three if I can get three. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's, it's Doggy Style. Was the one that you know platinum in a week type show, you know platinum in a a week and one of the most anticipated records ever. He started the whole anticipation craze. Okay, that's what Dre and Snoop did. So okay. a lot of people don't know that. So that album is landmark. That's one of them. Um, for me, I love rhythmalism because I got to work with fucking R and B stars like Elder Bars. Yep. And, you know, so that's hard too. And that goddamn Marshall Mathers LP, huh? That's all fucked up. What, where you double, put Jodeci? All yeah. Eyes on Me double shit. That and All Eyes on Me is still, yeah, we listen on. to that right now. We just yeah, performed that in the show. So this ain't fair, man. Well, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm going to pick one. i pick one of them. Okay. One. All right. Drums, please. <sighs> For quick. Eminem, Marshall Mathers LP. Wow. That's respect right there. I can there. listen to that. But how can you go wrong with any of it? You can't go wrong with any of it, but that's that. respect right there. Damn. Eminem. Eminem okay. hard. Done. All right, man. White boy Cole. He like like them rappers these days now. Yeah. Like me and Quick, we be joking around. And, and no disrespect to him because we listen to the stuff that's that's cool. But they rap in front of the beat, on the side of the beat, underneath the beat. Yeah. A little bit on the top of the beat. I think they headphones be off when they perform it. <laughs> <laughs> or they rap it to another I'm song done. on that song. Yeah, they hear when they rap, when they do like, the, it. When to? they lay when they lay the lyrics down, the beat's not coming through. The headphones is he off. He's saying the gang work. Damn, I'm chilling with Mama. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell did he just say? Hey. Yeah. The funniest shit I've seen though this year was this girl went online. She said, she said, damn, he even talk off beat. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? How is that possible? How you have the conversation? There's no track, and he, and he I'm just. I'm dead. Yeah. So wow. I just, I just, it's something about that rhythm. See, people don't know rap wasn't first. The drums was first. Like mm-hmm. that's what it is from the break beats. Like let's dance to the drummer. And then and I'm I'm rhyming this something to the Boom! They just gave somebody a mic, and he just jumped in yep. because the beat. Sounded too good. It didn't have no music and no singing. That's where rap came from. So if you can't follow that beat, that's not what you're doing. It's not rap. The shit you're doing ain't rapping. So, so like Post Malone, him. is he a singer or a rapper? That's a, that's Post that's is, something else. It's, that's singing. Yeah, Post okay. that's singing. He, he got some. He got that some superstar is cool. Yeah. You know, White Iverson. That was rap. That's a rap record to me. Gotcha. You know what I mean? But it's because how how do you define it when Drake blurred the lines? You know, you if you sing a melody on your rap song, you get. You, you cross your fan base. You go both ways. You go hip-hop and R&B. Yeah. And you go pop. 
Wrong. Which is hip hop now. Hip hop is just pop music. Is it? And now it's about to go country. Look, look, yeah. Lil Nas, yeah. is that his Lil name? Nas, uh, yeah. Lil Nas X. Dog. Mm-hmm. With his I'm horse. Like, come on, man. <laughs> hey, he got, hey, he got, country uh, mad he, right now. That ain't no. Hey, they got Billy Ray Cyrus on this shit. Come on, man. Come on, man. Little that's real. Billy Ray. That's, that's a move right there. So hip hop about to take over country. Huh? Hey, well. What's left? Yeah, what's left? Wrong. Mm-hmm. Who you rolling with, man? We know you from the Lou. You might pick uh, your boy. Uh, yeah, you got yeah, one yeah, album yeah, you got one of the nineties <laughs> that defined that, that you love. Yeah, we bouncing it back. What one album would that be? Oh, Nelly. That's, that's easy Nelly. for I'm me. I'm going now, that's now, easy baby. For me. All eyes on me, huh? All eyes on now, me. Now, see, yeah. if I would have said all eyes on me, which was what that's I was going to say, said, but, we would have yeah. said it at the same time. So it would have been like influencing. He worked on it. This debate, yeah, that's it. Was one of my favorites because I got to party with him and. You know, you got at least try magic. to talk to him, calm, down, calm him down. Like, just watching him go in there and just kill every record like that, yeah. whether the mic was on or not, he was just on. And then he'll pop up with people. You'd be like, you hanging out with this nigga? With two <laughs> you know studios you running at the with, same you time. You hanging out with Tupac? Like, two wow. studios, bro. And you'd be surprised who Pac would bring in the studio. Man, of course you would. He's it like a, a who's who of people. All your favorite people. Run out of his his session, run to and the run other back session. to Dre's and ride there, going Johnny J's session, being there for two hours, finish, and then just be walking around the hallway in a Versace shirt, nigga, with Hennessy. Like, nigga, who else? Nigga, I'm wiping all this shit down. It's like wow. we couldn't go home. It's like he he's got a message to relay. We're gonna let him relay it. Yeah, you know, Dre stayed over time. I stayed over time. Daz and Corrupt, Method Man, you know, um, Johnny J and you know Dave Aaron, rest in peace. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Everybody, Snoop. Everybody just stayed overtime for this nigga and let because, him get that shit off. But it's the energy he put out. They like, okay, yeah. he's he, he's working right now. He won't work. We all gonna work, man. But look what you, look what you accomplished with that. Look what it did for West Coast and just for hip hop. It's the it was uh, the biggest record in hip hop at that you know for a long time. It was the the thriller of hip hop. Man, yeah, and you had Shelf your hands lines. on the whole thing. Yeah, I put my fingerprints all over it. That's Although I have to say this, we are gonna keep it real. Dr. Dre pulled me to the side and he gave me some advice. He was like. Dude, you need to turn the fucking vocals up. Like, mm. don't keep them shits down. Like, yeah. we ain't making jazz music. I'm like, got it. <laughs> vocals up all the time. <laughs> all right, Dre. <laughs> wow. All right, Dre. <laughs> there we go. Rest is history. Uh, this Saturday night, we doing our thing. Crush Groove I'm knock on the door. I'm coming Party in the room. Moving. We doing it. Huh, Get yeah. your shoes ready. <laughs> Hi, C DJ Quick K Day Morning Show. It gets no better than this, man. I appreciate you coming through, man. Come on, Rome. You, you can leave me all this right here, though. Yeah, that's Paola. <laughs> <laughs>